What's up guys, in today's tutorial I will teach you how to script a falling floor system using physics and collisions using Unreal Engine 5 Blueprint. Let's jump in. Alright, let's get started. In my content row, I'll right click, create a new Blueprint class of type actor. We'll call this BP underscore falling floor tile. I'll double click to open up and edit. First, I'll need three components. Up in the components panel, top left, I'll say add. I will add a cube. I'm going to click back to my default scene root. I'm going to add a point light. Click back to my default scene root. And I'll add a box collision. Now, let's set the values of these three components. First, our mesh is what we'll see in the environment. I'm going to change the scale of this to 2.9 by 2.9 by 0.25. I'm going to change the scale of my box volume to my extent will be 150 by 150 by 150. And then I'll move location to 150 in the Z. I'll grab my point light. I'm going to change the Z location value to 300. We'll put it at the top of my collision box. I'm going to change the intensity to lumens. I'm going to change, uh, so that was the unit type. I'm going to change the intensity for my scene to 25. This is going to be the on value, and we'll be able to preview it in our viewport. And I'm going to change the light color to red. The light is going to function as a sort of warning light, so we're going to make it red. Compile. Alright, let's add some logic in our event graph. So from our viewport, we'll click over into our event graph here, to where our logic will take place. And let's add some events using our components. So I'm going to select my box, which is our trigger box collision. I'll right click, and I'll say add event, add on component begin overlap. This will be the event that happens when an actor overlaps the box volume that we've created here. So what we're going to do is the other actor, we're going to test are you a character using task to character, which is going to run a test of the overlapping actor is of this class. And what's going to happen is first we're going to say when the character overlaps, we're going to set a timer of X seconds. When that happens, it's going to call an event that's going to turn on a warning light. And then after the warning light, there's going to be another timer. We'll wait a moment and then we're going to turn on the physics simulation of the tile. So let's pull off here and we'll say set timer by event. I'm going to create two events. I'm going to right click here and we'll say uh, create custom or add custom event. We're going to call this warning. I'm going to control C and control V this. And then up here I'll edit it or just right here. Uh, and it's going to say sim, uh, start physics. Or we could call it something like about drop tile. Um, so now I'm going to pull off my set timer by event. And I'll pull off here and I'll say create event. You can also say create a matching event like this instead of doing what we did, we just did for sake of just making this visual. I made them myself. So I'll go to where we have create event and I'm going to go to warning. So after this time that we set here, so let's say it's uh, we'll say 0.5 seconds and we can promote this to a variable so we have an easier way to control it. We'll say warning duration. Compile. We'll see that pop over here. So now this is our 0.5 second wait after we've overlapped. I'm going to call this event right here. So I'm going to grab our point light. I'll drag it on to our graph like that. And I will pull off here and I'll say set intensity. I'll drag this execution pin in here, pull off here, and I'll say promote to variable. This is going to be our active intensity. And by creating these as variables, we have an easy way to set their values in our blueprint details panel over here. So under our variables, we have our active intensity. We won't see it right here. It says, please compile the blueprint. When we hit compile, we'll see it pop up over here. And I'll go back and I'll set this to 25, which is what I'm using as our intensity right here. So I'm just lining those up with each other. So 
I'm gonna pull off here and I'll say again, set timer by event. I could also, you know, do a control C, control V here, but just getting you in the motion of creating these functions. So I'll drag off here this delegate and I'll say create event. We already have our event here, so we don't need to make a new one. I could do that right here if I wanted to, but I'll say drop tile. And after this time, I'll just make this one more variable. So I'll say promote variable and we'll say after warning duration. Compile this and we'll change this value to 0.25. So after 0.25 seconds, it's going to call the event for drop tile. And when drop tile is called, what we're going to do is we'll grab our cube. So we're going to drag our cube from up here in our components panel onto our graph. I'll pull off here and I'll say set simulate physics. I'll drag this execution pin in here. We'll say set simulate to true by clicking this checkbox, compile, and we'll save. All right, let's drag some into our environment. If I go back to my level and I grab from my content drawer, I can drag this out into my environment. I would recommend having snaps on for this if you want to use this as a sort of level piece. Uh, click this little grid button and you can set your snap value here. You'll probably want either 50 or 100. So if I hover over either of these arrows and I hold Alt on my keyboard, I can duplicate these if I want to move them along the grid. So I'll press Alt and I'll drag. Reminder, you have to release the key in between each duplication. Um, and so I have this set of them here. So I'm just going to select these in my environment to group this out. I have it selected here, so I'll right click and say replace selected actors with my new blueprint and let's test it out. I'll right click and say play from here. And what I expect to happen is when I overlap, it will fall to the floor. So that's great. So what I want to do is actually I'm going to turn off the light on begin play. So I'll grab my point light in the set intensity node. I'll copy that. I'll paste that up here and I'll say set intensity zero. So that's great. So now on begin play, when I right click, I can say play from here. All the lights are off. When I overlap, we'll see these lights flashing and the tiles are falling below us as we move along. So I'll run that one more time and feel free to test this at your own pace. And we can see that when we overlap the box collisions, all of the physics simulation becomes active for our static mesh components and makes for a fun gameplay dynamic that you can use in your own games. Thanks all for watching and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and content. Have a great day.